The breaking news this hour, the New York Times is now reporting that Trump endorsed Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker urged his ex-girlfriend to have a second abortion after he allegedly paid for that first abortion, which was reported by The Daily Beast. Walker has yet to respond to this latest report. And just a short time ago, The Daily Beast added to the story it's been breaking all week, reporting that Walker's wife reached out to his accuser earlier this afternoon. And NBC News Tonight is reporting Walker is now confirming for the first time Friday the identity of the woman and, quote, in a brief interview, Walker said this was also the first time the woman, who is the mother of one of his four children, mentioned to him or his wife that she had had an abortion. We'll have more on this still developing controversy a bit later in the hour. But tonight, we're also tracking the very latest on the former president's standoff with the Justice Department over those White House records seized from his Mar-a-Lago club. NBC News has now confirmed the New York Times story that the Justice Department told Trump's legal team that it suspects he's still holding on to some documents. And tonight, Rolling Stone is reporting that investigators have spoken to several witnesses asking if Trump is holding sensitive documents at his other properties, like Trump Tower and his Bedminster, New Jersey club. NBC News has not independently confirmed that reporting. Meanwhile, the first full week of testimony has wrapped up in the federal trial of five Oath Keepers accused of seditious conspiracy on January 6th. Today, prosecutors showed the jury texts sent by founder Stuart Rhodes in which he seems to promote the use of force and begs Trump to invoke the Insurrection Act after the 2020 election. Jurors were also shown this speech from a pro-Trump rally just a few weeks before the Capitol riot. Show the world who the traitors are and then use the Insurrec Insurrection Act to drop the hammer on them. And all of us veterans who swore that oath, until you're age 65, you can be called up as the militia to support and defend the Constitution. He needs to know from you that you are with him, that he does not do it now while he is commander in chief. We're going to have to do it ourselves later in a much more desperate, much more bloody war. Let's get it on now while he is still the commander in chief. There's also the ongoing investigation into possible interference in Georgia's 2020 election. Atlanta area District Attorney Fonnie Willis reportedly wants former House Speaker Newt Gingrich and ex-Trump National Security Advisor Michael Flynn to testify before a grand jury. You may recall that before Trump left office, he pardoned Flynn, who had twice pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI. The guy currently in the White House was facing a lot of questions today about his warning last night that the world is at risk of a nuclear Armageddon if Russia deploys tactical nuclear weapons against Ukraine. Today, the White House said those comments were not based on any new intelligence. 